Right, where the hell am I meant to be going? The, the, the big dark hole in the wall. That one. Oh, there's barrels there. Oh, they're not explosive barrels. This is meant to be a teaching opportunity. Get off my lamp, boy. So slippy down here. That guy's having one hell of a day. Oh my god. Did you see that guy? Like, yeah, he like bounced up like three of them at once. Fast dancing. Why do they all keep trying to eat my lamb? I hope you eat the lamb. I'm going to jam it down your throat. <laughs> Get off my damn lamp, boy! Oh my god! Leave the lamp behind! No. Please! Everything <laughs> in the game is trying to tell you to leave the lamp behind. I could never do that to my poor lamp. How long are you going to carry this lamp for? Until How I can't. How long until it stops until being I funny? Until I literally can't anymore. Uh, How long god. until it stops being funny? Oh god. What is happening right now? So this is just sort of baby's first firefight, so it's not I'm too going difficult. Over this. Oh, there's a ladder. There's a ladder. Just throw the lamp. You don't need to like hold it tenderly in your loving arms. I kind of do though. I'd hate to lose it. I hope you drop it in a bottomless pit. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you drop it somewhere where you can't go to collect it. And I hope I reload a save where I have it so that I can go and go and collect it. Okay. We have reached an area. Where I'm not getting yes, shot. Yes, we have. I, well, most of the time it's about reaching the area. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a swig of my drink because Lord knows I need it. Ooh, okay. Um wait a minute. I'll put you up there a second. This is just Valve like swinging its cock around and showing off its <laughs> physics engine. Yeah. Be like, and our objects have individual weight. Oh, you won't let me jump while I'm on it. God damn it. Uh, it's because, like, you're pushing it down and then you're technically falling back onto it after pushing it down. So the game thinks you're in the air and it won't let you jump. You have to just sort of. Balance try. out, you stupid you know? thing. Yeah, this is one of the first like major physics puzzles in the game. It would help if you got off it. Because you keep pushing down the other end and it like it causes shenanigans as the kids say. Oh my god, just jump. I keep getting to the end and my character just doesn't jump. Just sprinting. Nope. Uh You know, whenever you see a problem, more cinder blocks. Yeah. Yeah. This is a bit of a janky puzzle. Oh my god. Right, jump, like, jump. Jump. There you go, we did it. There we, we go. Did it. Yeah. Fortunately, there's not many more like that. Um. Um. 
Hello. Hello there, my good sir. I guess this is just a hidey hole from the helicopter. Did you just shoot my lamp? Multiple times. It, it hates the lamp as much as I do by now. Um. <laughs> I'm going to beat you to death with my bare hands. Uh. <laughs> I managed to get out of the map. Lovely. Yes. Stop! <laughs> Put the lamp down! It's more trouble than it's worth. <laughs> Never! The lamp being broken is like the cornerstone of me. I'm not me without my lamb. Please. We'll find you a new lamb. We might, but it won't be the same. The this hell is really going to ruin immersion. I don't know, Turtle. Where might you be going from here? In the door? No. Turn around. There's a good lad. I got through. The big blue door. Clearly, Kleiner didn't need to develop teleport technology when this lamp was just <laughs> sitting around. Congratulations, you've taken the lamp into a hole. Now leave it here. You can make it work. I hate you so much. <laughs> Am I ruining something you love with a lamp? I hate you so much. I don't have words for how much I despise you. <laughs> hey, we got it straight up. Lamp! Stop being such a shithead. Tell him now. Ladders are one of those things that uh, like were bad in Half-Life 1 and are still bad in Half-Life 2, and that Valve just hasn't really managed to get a grip on, like at all. Valve does not know how to do ladders. It certainly seems that way. No way. He's done it. I hope they bury you with your fucking lamp. <laughs> Me too. That'd be cute. Imagine me and you. I do. I think about it day and night. It's only right to think about the lamp you love and hold it tight, so happy Ooh. together. That is a charred corpse right there. Oh, it's another one. Leave the lamp with the corpse. There's another one there. Never. This is my purple hat. You'll be good friends. Right, I've got to bear out these bad boys with some other objects. You remember that uh, explosive barrel? That you blew up oh, for no reason. Oh, I see, I see. I didn't know they could hold on to things that heavy. You have to actually set it off first. Oh, do you? Okay, shit. Yeah. Like, if it's on fire, it'll explode after a little bit, so. And all those ones are dead now. lamp is... I don't want to play Half-Life anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Half-Lamp. It is Half-Lamp. Oh my god. There's so many of them. I thought it was actually an explosive battle here. Higher.
Great, great throw, man. Whoopsie. And now I'm dead. <laughs> the lamp killed you <laughs> yeah, again. It did. It did. Barnacles, by the way, barnacles will not pick up the same inedible object twice. So if one like drops something because it can't eat it, it won't pick it up again. Yeah. Right. Leave the lamp there. Nope. Wait, why? Just leave it there. Just put Couldn't it possibly down. do that. This is. This is why they bombed London. <laughs> That's horrible. But yeah, okay. I don't live in London, but you yeah, know what? It's fair. You've doomed the entire island. <laughs> and I know it's horrible, but at this point I don't care. I'm horrible, so it's okay. Ow. Goddamn physics object. Yeah, I mean, explosions in real life don't send debris everywhere. This is so unrealistic. <laughs> Do you reckon anyone playing Half-Life 2 has ever carried this lamp this far? I doubt it. <laughs> Looks like you're gonna be the last one through. Be glad you're not the guy they're looking for. Poor bastard doesn't stand a chance. Sounds like they're calling in every CP unit in City 17. Now they're flooding the areas up ahead with manhacks. You better get going before they sweep through here. Oh damn. Hell are they? Manhacks. Hold oh, him. That was a close call. Thanks for your help. Look, it isn't safe here. I'll give you some supplies to keep you going, and you really gotta go. Thank you. They're upstairs. There's a ladder? Oh, there's a ladder. Yeah, so that's Manhack Matt. He chillin'. He vibin'. Good luck out there. Thank you. So those are Manhacks. They're basically angry little razor blades. Like, not razor blades, uh, saw blades. Sure, you seem angry. Luckily, they're pretty weak. Yeah, but they, they never come alone, which is the problem. Oh. Hey! I need to angle it so I can get it like this. There you go. Much easier to carry like this. I've learned, how to, li I've learned how to live with my lamb. Living with your lamp. <laughs> sounds like, it's like, sounds like a it's cheesy... Like a, it's like a Maestro addiction sort of thing, isn't it? Yeah. 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 Move. My Life with a Lamp. The TLC original series. Down. We're not playing Isaac anymore. We don't need to fight each other. <laughs> this isn't war anymore. I was on edge for like the entirety of yesterday, by the way. <laughs> oh god. I really <laughs> fucked you up, didn't I? <laughs> That's just supplies. Also, I'm I got sorry. The SMG now as well. It's fine. 
<laughs> it was fun. It, oh, what's what friends are for? I got up here somehow. Yeah, you jumped. Nope. I see where I'm meant to be going now, but the lamp. It tried to stop me. So when you're underwater, auxiliary power represents uh, oxygen. I see. <laughs> like in Half-Life 1, when you resurface, the health you lost to drowning comes back? Yeah. Was it, oh, this, is, this is just an air pocket, I see. Yeah. Unless you want to fucking... What's it called? What's it called when you, like, wedge yourself on either side of a chasm to get through it? <laughs> Leave it. I can't. This is, like, the, the final step of our relationship. This is, like, the, 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 the ultimate test. See. The fucking jumping sometimes can be such a pain. You see? We did it. Me and Lamp. You shouldn't have. I want to meet my parents. Your parents are dead and so am I. This is hell. <laughs> this is your purgatory. The game is a lot more generous with resources. I'm noticing that a lot. Yeah, it wants you to have fun rather than being on one health all the time. Yeah, the, the, the previous game, finding health was like, you always have found it like way too late. Not that that means that like you're gonna have an easy time of it, just that you're never gonna have to wait too long. Yeah. Where the hell am I going now? On the pipe. Oh, I see, I see. I hope that lamp hits you so hard it deletes your save file. <laughs> you stand on the superheated steam vent. It's fine. If you throw things like slightly upwards, they travel further. You did it again. Oh, it just blew up and it set on fire that time. It is your divine punishment. Man was not meant to do this. You shot it three times. I did, I did. Wait until the steam goes away. I didn't realize the steam went away, I'm gonna be honest. It's been going and coming in front of you, like, since you arrived. How did you not know? I just didn't. Okay, we're now in the clear, ish. Am I going through? So that lambda symbol, I should point out, the lambda symbol is the symbol of the resistance in this world. So whenever you see it, it means that you're near a resistance cache. Ah, nice. Like a, a supply cache. Or in this case, the way to go. Yeah, I was assuming the it was kind of part of like uh, telling you which way is right sort of thing. I hope the lamp drowns. Damn ladder's been terrible. I hope you drown. But 
yeah, the uh, Half-Life 2 is a lot better at environmental storytelling. They just, you sort of get a, a feel for the story by passing through the world. Yeah, definitely. Man, I didn't know there was a chance me down here. Yeah, they're looking for you around every corner and flooding the area with manhacks and like, all units high alert, but I didn't expect them to chase me. <laughs> right. If you hear any shaking, it's because Tatum is in the corner and she's regularly uh, shaking herself because it's very hot. I don't hear any shaking. And... <laughs> oh, good. I love the way that I managed to find possibly the glitchiest physics object in the game. <laughs> the cling to, yes. Like, it did just flings you in every direction. I did, yeah. Yeah, that that was Tater. She decided to walk right up next to me and go, do the, do the dog shake that dogs do. The dog shake that dogs do. Yes, the dog shake that dogs do. Please, I hope the lamp doesn't fit. That's a lot of explodey barrels. You hear that sound? I do. That's the sound of man hacks. Oh, hello. Damn, this actually, place is very difficult. Actually, to uh, achievement hunted Half Life Two. Oh, nice. But what what sort of ones is there in this? Hmm. This is some pretty tough ones in this game. Uh, there's uh, some of them. Yeah, most of them were just things that I just hadn't done yet. Like I think there's uh, th there's an achievement for getting all the lambda caches, like in the entire game, and some of them are really like. Obtuse. Down. Down. Oh, I left my lamp up Down there. Down the ladder. My lamp's up there. Oh yeah, you can get on the pipe as well, I guess. I forget these things. Because I'm an idiot. You're meant to get on the pipe. With great difficulty. Yeah, the, the ladders are just... For us in this game. I did it the first time and I fell off. Okay, there you go. Yeah, that sounds like you. You fell off r plus ratio. That's the vent that the man hex came out of. There's nothing in there that you should worry about. Okay. I say because anyone who knows Half Life knows there is something in there. <laughs> oh, no, no. Should I go and check it out? No, for the love of God, no. That means yes. No, it's a battery. Uh. You don't need to go and check a fucking battery. Basically, just leave the lamp here. You'll need to come back here later. Basically, for some unknown reason, there's a... Like a, a combine energy battery at the very end of that vent. That, like, right. you're, it's really difficult to get into. You need to, like, stack up barrels and do some obtuse bullshit. And nobody knows why it was placed there in the map. It's just there. It's one of the great mysteries of Half-Life uh, Half Life 2. Intriguing. I don't know where I'm meant to be going here, by the way. There's something in that room that you need. This room? Yes. Did you see it? Nope. There's a valve up on one of the pipes. Oh, I see it now, yes. Valve, like the publisher. <laughs> Very astute. How the fuck do I get up there? You're not meant to climb up. You're meant to fall down. This shouldn't be, like, me forcing you to play games. <laughs> this is me teaching you how to play games. 
see. It's the water thing again. How high does it go? Well, the sound stopped, but the water's still going. There you go. Right. So, now what? Well, now that pipe that was uh, on the lower level of the ladder can be accessed. Come on, these fuckers. Yeah, they're basically the Combine's disposable little, uh, little, uh... I don't know what the Manhacks are comparable to. Drones, I guess? Attack drones, yeah. I hope you drown. So most weapons don't work underwater in Half-Life 2, except yeah, for... Pistol, isn't it? I believe the pistol, yes. Am I supposed to jump this? Look down. I'm meant to go down this way. No, you'll see. Oh, that's cool. This is again Valve showing off. We have buoyancy in our physics engine. Buoyancy. Because that's, that's cool. how Gabe Newell sounds. Oh my god, what's happening? I, like, accidentally tapped one of those objects and it just shoved me straight back down to the bottom of the water. Lamp. Yeah, nobody's saying Source is the best physics engine, but it was pretty good for its time. It was very good for its time, yeah, very impressive. And, of course, the fact that there is, like... It's seamless loading screens, I mean, you, you can carry physics objects for absurd lengths of time. Yeah. They're in the way. Am I going all the way up here? No. Am I just going over this fence? I believe so, yes. Typically, if you can get to somewhere and you can't come back, that's the way to go. Ah, okay. Uh, which way am I meant to be going? This way, though. Oh, probably this way. Probably this way. Nope, nope, nope. I was wrong. That looks kind of cute, though. Yeah. I like them. Oh, there's people doing that. When will I get my ult fire grenades? Uh, when you find the ammo for it. Also, uh, in Half-Life 2, the ammo crates actually will prioritize giving you ammo for things you're low on. Ah, oh, that's good. So, like, when you break a supply drop, if you don't have any SMG ammo, more than likely you'll get SMG ammo. Yeah. Please just leave the lamp. It's causing so many problems. Not only in the game, but in, like, our <laughs> lives. <laughs> that's exactly part of the trouble. You've got to... The, the, this needs to be a speedrun category. It probably would make a pretty good speedrun category. Especially considering it can launch you, yeah. With this, the sound design is so good as well. It is, yeah. I've genuinely considered, like, making a manhack companion for Enter the Gungeon. Oh, I think you should. That'd be very cool. Or maybe incorporating the Manhack gun from Gmod? Yeah, that'd also work. Because I've added the tool gun from Gmod, but nothing else. The gravity gun as well? But not from this? Gravity gun is from Half-Life 2, yeah. Yeah. It's in Gmod, but it's not from Gmod. There's a difference. Was, the, oh, was, I, was, was I just up here to get supplies? Oh, no, no, I, had to actually, I had, did actually have to go up here, I see. i to drop down here. Mm-hmm. I'm liking this game a lot. 
more than Half-Life 1? Or? So far, yes. I'm liking the so sort of a... outdoor environments and the storytelling a lot more. As much as Half-Life is... 1 was good. There is some stuff coming up that... Hazardous radiation levels detected. The water hurts you. Hey! You're Freeman, aren't you? I am Freeman. We got word you were coming. You got here at a bad time. Black Mesa East to Station 6. Do you read? Dr. Freeman is on his way down river. Lend him the airboat and give him all the help you ah, can. I'm guessing this is where I have to leave my land. It is critical he reaches Black Mesa East. Yes. Better get going. You're meant to crawl under. No. I think I actually have to. I like doing things alternative. Oh, fuck. What's in that? Oh my god, it's weapon I tech grabs. So the Combine never want to shy away from an opportunity, have turned head crabs into payloads for artillery shells. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Oh, it's the zombie boys that says the backwards. There's the zombie dudes in this game look awesome, and they throw a physics object at them. That's pretty cool. Yeah, like, Half Life is technically a zombie game, but it doesn't feel like a zombie game. You no, know it I mean? doesn't. I think it was because it was before the era of zombie games. Yeah, exactly. It's the fridge of it. It's the fridge of it. Doesn't look safe. Hold on, no. something, something's happening in the background. Just don't touch the walls. Uh... Oh, it's just Tater. I hear a crunching sound and wondering what she's up to, but it turns <laughs> out she just didn't eat her tea and decided to eat it at midnight instead. Fair. Oh my god, that headcrab just jumped right into the electricity there. That's pretty funny. Oh god, that water hurts. I knew that it hurt, oh, but shit. it really hurts. There's a lot more damage than I was expecting it to. Here is where I'll leave you. I've been hoping you'd My poor lamp stayed there. This airboat all gassed up and ready to go. Ask the curse onto her now. In the open, but drive hard and you'll make it. Drive hard. You'll find more help up at Station Seven. Just a few bends up the river. It's the old red bar. My poor lamp. Climb on in. Fire her up. So the airboat. That's an interesting segment. Yeah, I, I actually quite like the vehicle segments, but I know a lot of people don't for some ungodly reason. I'm gonna say I can't, I can't, I don't know, I quite like it. So for now, it's a safe way to get across the toxic water, and you can run over enemies with it if you see them. Nice. It can go on land or water, of course. Yeah, yeah. It is literally a hovercraft, so I would assume so. Ooh, this is gonna be kind of tricky. Oh no no, it just locks in place. I thought I was gonna have to like time it right. As usual the cro I almost called it a crossbow. As usual the crowbar uh just one shot head crabs. Yeah. Oh my god, I wasn't expecting that to destroy. I like this segment. It's cool. Yeah. The vehicle segments, honestly, I find they're not, not that bad. 
but what are you doing? Oh, one minute, one minute. I need to pause the recording a second. One sec. Right, we are back. I just had to banter on from my Discord for being transphobic. Sorry about that. Yeah, he, Anyways. He's, he's, he's on a reign of terror. No one will survive. <laughs> no, just some, someone Literally that joined not that long ago. Like, barn. being you missed kind the barn. of a, Oopsie. Being kind of a transphobic dick, so I was like, nah. Bye. Oh, right. Is this, this is kind of like a freestanding section where I can kind of go to a few different places. You were told that you had to meet the station at the barn, remember? Oh god, what the hell just happened to my camera? For some reason the game decided to uh, exit the vehicle underneath it. <laughs> What's in there? Ow! Ow! Yeah, they're not much smarter than Half-Life 1, but they have learned how to throw things. <laughs> oh, damn. Ooh. It's easy to take for oh. granted. <laughs> what the hell happened? <laughs> he just got in the basket. He did a little flip. <laughs> what are you doing? Taking this with me. Fuck yourself. I, was, I wanted to take the mattress, but I don't think I'm going to take that. I've got to find a physics object to take with me on every section of the game. You realise that, right? Whoa! You hit my boat! Wait, was I meant to be here? It's a supply cache. Is that it? Uh... Yeah, that is it. You're meant to continue on with the boat, but like, the, the barn is one of the more interesting supply caches, so I yeah. figured you ought to experience it instead of just driving right past you Neanderthal. <laughs> also, there was actually a G-Man secret that you missed. Oh, was there? Yeah, you can just drive through it. So, uh, yeah, as you approach the barn on the boat, G-Man's actually standing on the railing up above, and he walks inside the barn and disappears. Like, it makes, uh, the whole G-Man thing makes it feel like everything I'm doing is like part of some sort of simulation or test. Like, like G-Man's hiring me and testing my skills and watching me the whole way through. That's the point. No, but it's like, is it a simulation? It's not now, a simulation. As far as, anyone can, as far as anyone can tell, it's all real, but it does, that doesn't mean it can't be a test. But like, the, it's more the fact that G-Man's able to be everywhere that I am is the bit that makes me think it's sort of like some sort of simulation or something. I mean, that would be, that would track if G-Man were strictly normal don't go you can get the boat up it's a it's a puzzle what the heck i don't understand but i i don't really get it can you shut up stupid little shitheads i don't really understand what i'm meant to be doing here it's a buoyancy puzzle there's a cage under the water. See. See now. You know those, like, uh, experiments where they'll, like, put a raccoon in a cage and it can get to some food if it solves some basic <laughs> object puzzles? Yeah. You would fail those. Probably. Probably. So now you've lifted the ramp.
yes. The idea of it being not real because G-Men is like all powerful would track if G-Men strictly normal, but uh, I think it's clear to everyone that he's not, is yeah. he? Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Ooh, hello. That's like a little alien thing on that one. No, that's not. It looks like an alien thing. Wait, is it? It kind of is. Like a hybrid. What up, bitches? Combines, uh, they're called synths in the game. Uh, combine synths, as in synthetic. Combine synths uh, sort of blur the line between what is flesh and what is machine. Intriguing. I love, the how bouncy. I love how bouncy the airboat feels as yeah, well. Yeah, it does. It feels really glidey and bouncy, right? Why did I do that? Like, I'm glad that doesn't outright kill you, but it should. <laughs> yeah, it should just like rip your head off as it grabs you. I really like doing these half life things with you because when you're not being a complete fucking knobhead, <laughs> um, it, it's nice because it's just so chill. Yeah, they are. They're, they're very relaxing. Like, even, even through the first game, the, com the commentary wasn't always flowing super heavy, but it's just nice, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Very chill games. And like, also, obviously, it's, it's kind of it's interesting for you to get to see someone that hasn't played Half Life play through it, which is kind of rare nowadays. And also, it's nice for me to play with, through it with someone that has played it, because if there's any bits that I really don't understand, I've got a bit of guidance without having to look yeah. it all up. I'm like much this... more familiar with the second one than the first. If you go back, there's a place to dock the boat. I see. I said dock the boat, not drive it into the building. <laughs> I like, tried. Up the ladder into the building. Oh, ladders, you shitheads. Oh my god, yeah, who normally, designed you? <laughs> normally I'd make some snarky comment about like, oh, you're just playing it right now, but the ladders in this game are terrible. They really are. Oh, we can carry this. I'll take this. I believe if you look at the screen... Granadas. Oh damn. That boy charred. You already have an SCG. I have. But this isn't the one I oh no it is, it just I'll look at it the wrong way. something weird that I can carry with me. This is probably a little more convenient than I land. Ah. Yeah, grenades in ah. Half-Life 2 are a lot more convenient than in 1. Uh, because the, the grenades get thrown quickly and like they're they're oh, small. Yeah. How can you throw know. a grenade in there and then just kill them anyways? I don't even know where my screwdriver is anymore. That was a wrench. That's what I meant. There was another one on the table, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, there was. I don't even know what it's called. <laughs> So those crates, yeah, those big crates, are essentially unlimited ammo of yeah, this of nice. the thing inside of them. Yeah, yeah. So th that's an infinite grenade. 